Hey guys, make sure to check out Flyaway Simulation. It's got loads of great stuff, including freeware downloads for FSX, the latest aviation news, forums, and a whole lot more. That's flyawaysimulation.com or just search Flyaway Simulation. Hello and welcome back to Jack's FSX videos. Today I'm going to be doing a follow-up video for uh, something that I released a few weeks ago, uh, showing you how to install this new FSX 2016 interface design. Uh, so as you can see I'm using it right now, but a lot of people, including myself, complained about two features, uh, which is here, the weather, uh, how when you click on the different configurations it doesn't show you a preview, it just shows these two weird thumbnails. And the other thing is here, the settings, it's all the same and they're not very good to show what it looks like at different levels, so for example medium, high or maximum, you, you literally don't know the difference. So I'll be showing you uh, how to change that back to the old design, uh, back to the old pictures, but while keeping the old overall new FSX look. <laughs> Okay then, so to start off, first of all you're going to need to make sure FSX is closed. Uh, then you're going to need two folders open. You're going to need uh, your uh, this folder here. Like I said, I don't know how to pronounce that in the last video, so I'm just going to call it the U folder again. Uh, you're going to need this folder here uh, open, which is in the FSX directory. You can find out how to get to that in the last video of how to install this as well. So, I've then got two folders over here, these are my backup folders, so the, this one is the backup of the old version of the U folder and this one's the backup of the new version. So right now I've got the new version installed, which is right here. So if you scroll down on here, on this one, inside the FSX directory, you scroll down and you'll see all of these images. Uh, so they're all like the same, which is what I was saying earlier. So all of the clouds are the same for weather, all of the boats are the same. Uh, and all of the bridges and stuff like that, uh, which is why I don't really like it for that one. And for this one, I just think it, you find it more difficult to uh, know, uh, like get a preview of what it's going to look like. So uh, basically, it's really easy because uh, in the first episode, I told you to make sure you make a backup of the U folder before you install the new U folder. So just go into that backup that you made before, scroll down until you find those pictures. Here they are. So everything from here down to there is what you're going to need. And it's really easy. All you have to do is select them all like that. So you should have 56 items in total. Okay. If you go 56, then you've obviously just missed one. All right. And then just hit Control C or right click and copy. Go into your current folder like this and Control V or right click and paste and then you want to replace the files in the destination so click replace and then there you go they're all in there just like that and it'll show you uh, what it what it was like at the beginning all right so that's all you need to do for that and then you can launch FSX up like I've just done and then going to current time and season and then there you go you've got the old images back and you can mix and match and see uh, a preview of what you wanted so it works the same for settings, so if I go into here, if I change the settings, it's back to the old images and I think they look okay in this new design. Uh, but if anyone wants to, if everyone, anyone wants to create new pictures that match the new design and send them to me, then that would uh, that'd be good and I can put them up on my website. Um, but yeah, that's it basically, that's all you need to do and uh, it looks good I think. So uh, thank you for watching this video, please remember to follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page and all that. Uh, more videos coming out in the future. Remember to go and check out my t other multi-gaming channel, Tectonic. I've just released uh, a GTA video on there. Uh, so that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching.